Today in the crypto space, we see a mix of green and red throughout the market. Bitcoin still around that $27,000 level and Ethereum slightly above that $2,000 mark, up approximately 2.5%. The rest of the crypto space, the altcoins, again, a mix of green and red. Matic looking pretty good. Nice and green. Filecoin, ICP, and many, many more. However, guys, we do have a few dips. Look at Chainlink, AVAX, and Caspa coming down to those lower levels. In today's video, I want to talk about the general market. I want to use Bitcoin as a leading indicator, but more importantly, I want to talk about one altcoin one altcoin that's looking pretty good for a possible entry and that project is called laerium so you know what let's talk about the news let's analyze the charts and let's strategize to capitalize welcome to the channel my name is mike and let's get right into it guys if you're new to the channel welcome welcome on the channel we talk about cryptocurrency bitcoin ethereum and all the altcoins looking for opportunities whether we go up or down bearish or bullish it doesn't matter all we want to do is stay one step ahead of the market so that we can capitalize on any of that volatility and if you appreciate the strategy subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos including the live streams at 7 30 eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action guys if you have any projects you want me to cover here on the channel feel free to let me know in the comment section below or you can hit me up on the socials the links are in the description of course and join feel free to join that discord the discord is a great community lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals learning material and all that good stuff all right guys let's begin let's begin let's take a look at this general market of course today's video is all about Layerium. Um, we're going to get right into that. But first, I want to look at the general market. Then we'll see what Bitcoin has been up to for the last little while to see if we can get an edge on the, the leading indicator of Bitcoin that it is. And then we'll take a look at Lyrium. Uh, L-Y-U-M is the ticker. All right, guys, let's begin. Let's begin. What's going on here? Bitcoin going sideways. Ethereum, you know, has been going sideways for the last little while. But Ethereum right now is up approximately 2.5%, looking pretty good. Pretty indicative of a potential altcoin season, given the fact that bitcoin has been going sideways and ethereum is showing a bit of strength here waking up and this is really good for the altcoin market if you have been scaling into alts we could definitely see some of these altcoins continue to the upside we have solana kind of going sideways we have cardano taking a bit of a dip down three and a half percent we have dogecoin coming down just a little bit but it does look like it has produced a bit of a consolidation it could be a bull flag it could be a pennant of some sort so something to consider here when we see these consolidations like this polygon reaching those higher levels guys up approximately six percent in the last little while looking pretty good for matic chain link taking a bit of a dip though down approximately seven and a half percent um and but that's absolutely normal you know chain link has been on a tear it's been doing very very well so a short-term pullback um, in preparation for continuation could be due. But again, we got to see what happens with Ethereum. If Ethereum runs, Chainlink should do well as well, given the fact that it's the largest oracle for the Ethereum projects, right? So this is there's a definitely definite correlation there. AVAX coming down just a little bit, of course. But after a nice run to the upside, I'm expecting a pullback and potential continuation. So keep an eye on AVAX for the next little while, down approximately 6% after, you know, a 30-something percent run is pretty, pretty normal normal okay something to expect um and what else do we have here pretty much sideways 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 ethereum classic looking pretty strong of course based on ethereum's lead icp looking pretty good five percent um and we have optimism op looking pretty good what else mantle getting a nice little recovery back to previous highs maker you know maker's doing pretty good 12 percent 12 and a half percent pretty good they're breaking out of a potential consolidation if we look at the price action looking left we did make a higher high which is pretty good you know a break of um, you know a, a character within the the structure is really um, interesting because it gives you an indication of potential uh, reversal pattern so interesting there what else do we have here the graph looks a bit sideways and it looks it looks a bit you know sloppy here down approximately 10 percent the last seven days and down approximately four percent in the last 24 hours so not looking the greatest for grt the graph so um you know maybe it's due for a bit of a, an update maybe we'll take a look at the graph tonight at 7 30 eastern guys feel free to join that's a great time and place for you to for you to make those requests on any projects that you're interested in so grt i'm going to put that one on the list and of course your request will be put in top priority so definitely feel free to join tonight 
Algorand looking pretty good. It, it is getting a bit of a pullback, but the fact that it finally woke up, it's up 10%. That's pretty good. I think it's just the beginning for a lot of these larger cap layer ones. Render kind of going sideways still. Nothing really interesting there just yet. We have synthetics kind of coming down approximately 7%. So still kind of within its range, within, within its structure. Sl slightly higher highs and higher lows. Nice trend to the upside, but nothing explosive just yet. Phantom taking a bit of a dip as a, you know, as a layer one as well. A lot of the layer ones are doing this, like AVAX and, you know, Algrand and Cardano. Many of them are just taking a bit of a break before potential continuation to the upside. And then we have Tia, you know, tearing it up over 100%. Guys, be careful with this one. It ran out significantly um, already. Um, it could continue, no doubt. Nobody knows the future. But uh, after a 122% run in seven days, guys, the likelihood is it's either going to take a break or maybe go sideways. And the time to get in was at the bottom of the range when it was going sideways. So right now, uh, not the greatest time to take a bit of risk here. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, what else? What else? CFX, bit of a dip within range. Got rejected at a slightly higher high. Nothing too uh, crazy, but it could be ready for a a higher low higher high higher low maybe we start getting momentum to the upside making these peaks and valleys a bit higher and that way we can start getting parabolic moves right so that's the thing here guys you want to get into a scenario where you find these coins at the bottom of the range consolidating within a nice tight range at great risk toward ratio opportunities and that is the reason why i chose uh lyum today lyrium uh lyrium because lyrium right now is at a great risk toward ratio okay so we'll definitely take a look at that one um, Illuvium going sideways, Illuvium going sideways, uh, Gates taking a bit of a dip. What else? What else? Generally speaking, guys, this market is still looking pretty good. You got to admit, yes, we do have some corrective moves throughout the market. Um, XDC is one of them, of course. But generally speaking, the fact that BitGet is running up so hard right now, 13.5% means that maybe people are um, basically looking for opportunities to get in on, on exchanges again, right? Buying the BitGet token, appreciating the fact that they get lowered fees if they get the token, they get some other benefits by being a token holder. So uh, usually, I usually look at BitGet and Bybit and the, 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 um, the tokens that belong to Coin coins coin tokens because um at the end of the day they're a good indication of you know what the market is doing right now that looks like the market is trying to get um a reduced fees and some of these benefits on these exchanges so that's a good indication that perhaps perhaps we might see these altcoins run all right guys we did pretty good here we, we're doing pretty good we have a lot of altcoins still running i still feel like we got to look at these larger caps to give us an idea and of course today is about uh Lir Lirium, and we'll definitely take a look at that but before we do that let's take a look at bitcoin i know you hear to talk about charts so let's begin what's going on here with bitcoin bitcoin at the end of the day is still running up still looking good it's propped up at this level it doesn't mean that um you know we're going to get a quick rejection it's been hanging out here for the last little while here on the daily you know we are getting a bearish divergence nothing has changed just yet and we're still propped up in very bullish conditions okay very overbought and the macd is a little bit indecisive it could hang out here for the next little while in fact you know right now the emas are crossed to the downside we got our first little red histogram bar to the downside it could be possible that we see bitcoin come down or even at best let's go sideways for the next little while bitcoin going sideways sideways is very healthy for alts okay so this is what we kind of want if you're heavy into the alts and you want to see alts continue running um we want bitcoin to at least at least just go sideways within a nice range for the next little while while we see a lot of the other altcoins uh continue popping off and then definitely seeing our portfolios nice and green where we can take a bit more profit so uh, the daily bearish divergence macd looking a little bit like maybe you might want to roll over I'm very skeptical when I talk about bearish price action right now because the impulsive move to the upside was great and we're getting almost a, a, a nice reset here on the four hour. Look at the four hour momentum. Uh, the RSI is definitely rolling over. We're hitting the uh, chop zone at 50%. We could definitely go sideways or even get some support like we have done in the past. Bounce, 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 back to overbought. What about if we come here, get a bounce and get back to overbought? So I'm definitely going to keep an eye on it, right? We do have a bit of a volume gap here that we can identify. Look at the empty the spot that we have here in the volume profile which means that if we break below about 36 let's say 36 500 give or take yes we could do definitely fall down to about you know 35 600 so yeah uh, this is a 36 500 that's a thousand dollar move it's not bad of a move to a, ba a bad of a dip and of course if that does happen we'll see a lot of the altcoins fall with it not the greatest but that's the name of the game here guys you definitely want to anticipate any dips so that you can you know either take profits now or be able to accumulate at lower levels bitcoin still going sideways nothing that interesting currently at the moment all right guys let's take a look at 
the project of today the project for today is Lyrium. Even its name is t difficult to, to to pronounce for me. Anyways, um, it, it is pretty good. I, honestly, I like the chart. This is a great, great chart, uh, given the fact that we are poised for a potential continuation. A lot of people feel like we may not get it. And I'm, I'm going to entertain that aspect because at the end of the day, we are getting that bearish divergence on Bitcoin. And what about if Bitcoin decides to kind of, you know, take a break and come down? The only thing that keeps us, you know, really, cons really interested in the market, especially with, with, uh, with regards to all coins, is number one. One, Ethereum looks ready to remove, number one. Number two, Bitcoin dominance is falling. And these, these are things that we can talk about tonight at 7.30. We'll look at the Bitcoin dominance, all of that. So as we see the dominance fall, we can see that there is some room for altcoins to take full advantage of it. And one of these, one of the projects that I find very interesting is this one right here, of, of course, Ethereum, because it is kind of going sideways at a great level of support going sideways. It hasn't run up yet. And that's what I feel we should be looking for in the next little while. If you have um, scaled into a project that already has pumped significantly, reaching price discovery, uh, definitely in some de deep green, I would be taking profits and looking for projects like this one that have yet to run and that are holding support. Now, fundamentally, obviously, deep dives are great. Do your fundamental research. Know what these projects are all about. But just looking at price action right now, this is decent. Now, if you look at the daily, the overall trend right now is that we are making higher lows. And we are almost right now getting another another higher low almost confirmed right higher low as we speak and, and this is actually pretty good because if we get those confirmations the more confirmations we get with these higher lows it could be that eventually we end up getting some support here and blasting off and breaking out of previous highs guys the previous highs is what's really important right now i think this is what we need to watch out this is the area that we need to watch out for on this chart because if it does break above i would say even to be honest um you know, but 1.5 cents, that's not bad. 1.5 cents. And then with, if we can break above, you know, 1.7, 1.8 cents, it's also not bad. And the big, the big picture here, the big idea is this. Okay, I'm going to squeeze this in a little bit so you can see the volume profile. You can see that after about this zone, generally speaking, and I'm going to put a box in here just to kind of make you aware that the um, the weak spot begins right into here, right? This is where we start to see a lot of the volume diminish. The potential resistance diminishes around this zone. So if we do break and we get some good volume and we've picked up enough bullish bids at these levels, market participants that are bullish and that want to hold, it's very likely that we start breaking these tops and then slowly start grinding to higher levels and you can see that as we continue going up the volume is not there there's not not much resistance to make allow this thing to basically get rejected we can make a higher high no problem and the higher high again at 4.5 cents is quite up there given the fact that right now we're at 1.5 cents we're definitely doubling your money at this level so what my concern is currently is that we're in the chop zone could we stay here a little bit longer the daily has yet to eat even get overbought this is a good thing we've seen many many charts in the last little while where we've seen altcoins completely completely overbought and have been hanging out in overbought conditions for days right this thing didn't even reach there so risk to reward ratio is healthy given the fact that you can put a stop loss right underneath this cluster okay depending on how um conservative you want to be you can even put a bit of a trend line in so you can be tracking the diagonal you know we could uh, consider the previous low as the ultimate level of where you should put your stop loss if we break below this zone look at the volume gap that we have here on the volume profile a nice beautiful empty 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 volume gap which means that if we break below um you know 0 0.009 um it's very likely that we come down straight down to 0 0.006 Given the fact there's no supply and demand, and if you look at the price action looking left, none whatsoever. What I also like about it is that we have some some tops and to some tops here to act as support if we do happen to break down. But again, that is the bearish scenario. The bearish scenario is that you know this could be a bear flag, impulsive move, bear flag another impulsive move that could definitely be the scenario but what we see right now is that the market number one is looking bullish ethereum is pushing up these altcoins we have the bitcoin dominance falling slightly 
Let's see if we can sustain that where we see all coins outperform Bitcoin and we see the momentum currently in an upwards trend all trying to get to overbought conditions. And this is both um, present on the MACD and on the RSI. Both MACD and RSI are trying to get into the bullish control zone. You see these EMAs slowly get into those higher levels, right? Slowly grinding up and finally, maybe, maybe we might get another pop to the upside and get into overbought or get into the bullish control zone where we see a good, lot of good volume to the upside. Now, this is the, the, the scenario. You want to be able to mitigate your risk. Just putting a stop loss here is not bad. Putting a stop loss right around here, 1.1 cent is not bad. So right around, it all depends on how much you're willing to sacrifice in order to uh, get into this trade. Let's do a trade setup here for a second, and then we'll get into lower time frames to kind of confirm all of this to see what's going on with this little uh, jitter here. So let's say you get in right now, okay, which is still not bad. Stop loss right underneath here right right underneath this cluster i would say this is probably the best right around here or even as low as here let's keep it entertaining to be as a conservative or give us as much wiggle room as possible let's say yes you're sacrificing 27 percent. so what you really got to do is um pay attention to your position size again if you get in with a hundred dollars what you're sacrificing is 27 dollars. you get in with a thousand dollars you're sa sacrificing 270 dollars just in case this thing gets stopped out and does roll over but your reward guys your reward just coming up to previous high you're looking at 42 percent which is decent right now it's about 50 50 let's say uh sorry 1.5 uh, risk to reward ratio not the healthiest okay but if this continues even getting to the golden pocket right after this continues running like some of these other altcoins you're looking at a five to one ratio 143 percent and only sacrificing 27 percent and this is not bad right not bad of a scenario now i would have loved to see something here to give us a bit of confluence but you notice that all we really do is have a bit of a volume gap right into this zone which i'm going to put a horizontal just to give us a bit of accountability like be careful of the, about this area because this area right now has a bit of an empty gap that could act as a um, an area of resistance so what we'll do is we'll look at what about that what about that it's still a th almost three to one a two and a half to one which is still a good ratio and at the end of the day you also can improve your entry Okay, by um, anticipating maybe a bit of a dip and accumulating within this range as long as this diagonal gets respected and we continue making those higher, slightly higher lows, which is not a bad zone. And then you might even say, you know what, I'm going to reduce my risk and just put my stop loss right underneath here to improve my risk toward ratio. Because at this level, we do have a few bottoms. One, two, three. This is the ultimate bottom because what about if we come down and get a bit of a wick here? It could happen and stop you all and then finally bounce. So the ultimate stop loss is below this low but we do have a few lows here that are have been respected a couple of times we also have this cluster of a low it all depends on your uh, risk tolerance and how risky you want to take it right this improves it drastically you're only risking seven percent but then again what about if we come back down and test these pre, you know these levels right here and again this volume gap is going to tr try to be protected by the bulls so that we can get that bounce we can get that uh, you know level of support at this zone so consider where you put your stop loss it all depends on how much you're willing to risk and it's all about risk tolerance and position size if you can have that opportunity to bring your entry a little bit lower obviously that's healthier but uh, let's kind of see like anywhere within this area you could definitely end the point of control is there you start to improve your uh, risk reward ratio um, and that's definitely what you want to do is mitigate risk at all costs okay risk is public enemy number one but again from the bullish zone obviously we're trying to get a great entries you know dc in in and dc in out is definitely fair game you can see that there is a bit of risk at previous highs but if we can break this area this yellow box and get above we start to get to really good gaining gains opportunities right here on on this project is doing pretty good at the bottom of the range a great great risk toward ratio opportunity for a long-term spot position and maybe a small short-term spot position that you can kind of trade in and out of the market of all right guys this is what i got for you today thank you for stopping by if you haven't yet do the channel massive favor and slap the like button it does really help out with the algorithm um, and of course join me live tonight at 7 30 eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action if you have any projects you want me to cover that is a great time and place to actually make those requests and i'll put them in top priority take care guys see you tonight and have a good one and don't forget buy the dip